Welcome back to Spirit Sherpa Minis, where we take deep dives on small subjects. I am Kelly Sparta, your host, and I'm the Spirit Doctor. And today, we are going to talk about going on pilgrimage, also known as walkabout, right? So what is it? What is it, right? I, I'm hearing from several people recently that are getting ready to do their own pilgrimage, and they're, they, they don't even know exactly what it is, right? And that's almost always the case. When you go on pilgrimage, when you go on walkabout, you're walking out into the world and you're not sure why. You're not sure what the goal is. You just know that everything's lined up for you to just like let go of everything. And it, and it usually does involve, oh crap. Fuck. Okay. Sorry. I just had a moment. <laughs> so this would be... <laughs> This would be my moment to tell you that uh, going on pilgrimage usually gives a, usually results in you know you giving away everything you own, <laughs> or you know getting rid of it in some way. And uh, I, I just had my own crap moment because my husband and I have recently decided that we are not taking anything with us. We are just going to have an estate sale and sell everything we own. <laughs> And so, so I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, we're moving to Panama very soon, next four or five months. And, um, and yeah, I just had a moment of, oh, yeah, we're on pilgrimage. <laughs> so welcome to my revelation. Yes, we teach best what we most seem to know, right? So let's talk about pilgrimage, shall we? <laughs> So pilgrimage is often a, a journey to, uh, it puts you in a different relationship with the universe, with the people around you, with yourself, right? It is a, think of it as a long-term retreat, right? And, and I say retreat, I mean, like, a, you know, you go to a weekend retreat or a week-long retreat and you go and you learn stuff and you, you evolve yourself and you come out a different person, right? If, you, if it's a transformational retreat, right? And so this is sort of a longer term unstructured by you, the universe is structuring it, make no bones about that, but unstructured by you retreat that teaches you a new way to be with yourself or to be with the universe or to be with others. Usually it also involves, um, the, if it's your first pilgrimage, it also involves learning to trust the universe, learning to, you know, jump off the cliff and build your wings on the way down, right? It's that leap of faith, right? Um, this will be my husband's first pilgrimage. So that'll be a fun one for him. Um, this is my second, maybe more, I don't know, we'll see. But definitely at least my second. And so I'm not exactly sure what to expect. So I will keep you apprised of how this goes. <laughs> but um, the, the pilgrimage itself is often a journey of staying in the present moment, being in alignment with what is allowing things to be rather tra than trying to change them. And, you know, we're moving to Panama. And so one of the things that we've been told repeatedly is mm, everything is very hard. <laughs> All the bureaucracy is miserable. And, you know, nothing you want will get there in a reasonable amount of time, if at all. And so learning to just have a laissez-faire attitude and just sort of be like, eh, whatever shows up, whatever shows up. And if it doesn't show up, it doesn't show up. It's okay. You know, we'll do something else. That attitude is, is what you have to adopt if you're going to live in Panama is what, what we've all been, what everyone's been telling us. And so uh, that is right in alignment with spiritual pilgrimage <laughs> because you're never, never in control in spiritual pilgrimage. Uh, the only thing you have control over is whether you're on it or off it. You know, if you're stepping in with faith and you're following the signs, then you are on it. And if you are trying to control and you're making decisions and, you know, all of that, then you're off it. And so, uh, so long as you are on, you are at the whim of the universe. And so these are the sorts of things that you need to know about 
doing a pilgrimage or a walkabout. And, um, you know, the general concept is you walk out into the world until you find yourself. That's the general concept, right? And so uh, there, are, there are structured ways to do pilgrimages. You can go to uh, any number of pilgrim paths. I mean, the Appalachian Trail in the U.S. is its own pilgrimage, right? Uh, the, the Campos de Santiago, I think is the name of it. It's the, uh, if you watch the movie, The Way, you can get a sense of what that one's about. It's, it's a fabulous movie with Martin Sheen. Uh, and, uh, you know, there are other, other pilgrims paths around the world that you can, you know, just do a search, you'll find them, right? Um, for a lot of Jewish people going to Mecca is a pilgrimage, right? That's their, their, pick, their pilgrimage. Uh, and so, you know, these are the sorts of things that happen uh, when you're on pilgrimage is you're, you're going to be tested in some way. You're going to have to let go and follow where the universe takes you. You're going to have to see yourself differently. Uh, you'll be invited to do that. You will probably not know the full reason for the journey for some time after. For me, I was told it would be at least 10 years, and it's actually been more like 20 for me to really see what that journey was about. The, it, it's, it's, it's its own animal. So you, the more you can, can disconnect yourself from what you were, the greater the opportunity for evolution as part of the journey. And the easier it is for you to go where the journey takes you because you're not being held back by the strings of responsibilities and you know, roles that you have to play and things like that as you go. So, uh, you know, and, and obviously different people will have different amounts of ability to do that. Uh, but just so you know, that's how it goes. So anyway, I am getting very wordy here. And so I'm gonna stop talking because I've basically covered the basics of it. And uh, so if you want more information like this, by all means, subscribe to this podcast, uh, you know, hit subscribe on the YouTube channel if you're there and, uh, you know, like and rate, please. That helps us get known by more people. Please share these episodes with others so that they know about it too, because that helps me to, to get the message out to other people. It makes me feel like you guys cared about what you heard and, that you, you're being supportive of me in the way that I'm trying to be supportive of you. It's a nice little energy exchange. And uh, if you want to learn more and you want to learn in more detail, by all means, check out the Inner Peace 101 program where we help walk you through your spiritual awakening and we walk you through doing your inner work, which really need to go hand in hand. So uh, we'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.